Sue Williams, who was born in 1964, grew up in Chicago, where moving from popular culture to high art became a new standard. Tomatoes, from 2003, depicts a humorous bacchanal of distinct figures who are each characterized in terms of their body parts, including their expanding and contracting digestive and sexual organs. In this lively fete, different personalities cross fluid boundaries between figuration and abstraction, as well as drawing and painting, creating a markedly new and definitely playful Bashian garden of earthly delights, wrote Robert Hobbes, the art historian. What Sue Williams has done is applied eight or nine layers of gesso, and then she sanded each layer. After that, there are two layers of white acrylic. So the surface feels um, hard. There's a certain, it, it feels almost like a chalkboard, like a Cy Twombly chalkboard to me, less than a canvas. Then what she's doing is playing around with different configurations, cartoon shapes, which morph from one understanding to another. I like how they float. The shapes recede, they project into space, and then they all have this relationship moving together, almost like a constellation. You could almost even think about a Juan Miro constellation where everything is kind of orchestrated together and there's a choreography of all the shapes. I'm intrigued how she's created her own vocabulary, which comes out of a certain painful period in her life. The initial work in the 90s had to do with sexual abuse. And yet, by 2003, with Tomatoes, to me it feels like she's come to the other side of it. She's come to peace with it. Art historian Barry Schwabsky has written, what's pleasant in Sue Williams' paintings is not what the merely pleasant in art usually is, the lie that's more agreeable than the truth, but rather the triumph of the truth-teller's art over the bitterness that is at the heart of the real. To me, that pleasantness that pleasure lends the courage to persist.